Hello everyone, this is MP and this is my 8th video in VB scripting series. So today we are going to talk about the file system object. So the objects are nothing but it's a kind of classes. So as you can see in my uh, this uh, VB script editing software. So it is just the classes. So what we are doing here, we're gonna, it's a inbuilt classes or inbuilt functions, or we have to call them and use it. That's the very simplest way of using that. So like yesterday, we uh, create a object of ADODB and today we're gonna work with file system object. So everything is built in. So as you can see, these are the methods available in the file system object. You can build the path, copy the file, copy the fold. So everything is related with the file, which is like available in the windows. So we can access all the files, read the files, check its existence, get the file, create the folder, copy the folder, move the folder. So whatever we are doing, um, with your mouse you can copy this to this anywhere and then you will write it so that is handled by window but in this we are gonna do that in programmically so that is the beauty of vb scripting so let's get started so firstly we are gonna declare just a variable dim object fso fso then we gonna set it like yesterday object fso equals to create some object and then in the create object we gonna uh, set it up scripting scripting dot file system object and then here in the middle we gonna use it use that object and then at the end we gonna destroy or release the release the object how we gonna release it we gonna we have to say object fso and we have to set it set object fso equals to nothing this way we destroy it and here if you see the object fso if you click if you give a period then you will see how many methods are available here see it is it is very easy to use okay so let's use the create folder method first so we can we just have to give the path where we want to create the folder so let me get a path so in my case the path is this one so we gonna put in in course and what we have to do, we have to give a name of the folder which we want to create. So save it and run it. As you can see, we just created a folder here. Okay. So similarly, you can check like if the folder is existing. So if the folder 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 there is a method object fso dot folder exist so here we can again specify the path if the folder is existing then and if and here we can say otherwise just say uh, 
existing okay so let's save it and run it what happened file already existing okay so why it is not testing checking that oh my bad so here actually i should do the opposite so what it's doing it is checking it is existing and then it's try to create it so but we need to do opposite here we have to say okay if it's not existing then it should create it otherwise it should say existing okay so let's run that now it is saying existing okay let's uh, delete the folder and uh, now try to run it so now it is not complaining about it is existing it just created it so it's working correctly so there are a lot of other things you can do you can just create the file okay let's create the file so if it's existing then what we can do we can object fso dot create text file okay we have to give a path here we're gonna give this path and then we will have to give a uh, file name mp dot txt okay so this is the format we gonna give okay run the script existing okay now if you see in the folder it created a file so similarly it is not like you can only create a text file you can also create the other kind of file as well like x l s x and d o c x so these are the this is excel format and this is a microsoft word so save it so let's delete the text file first because we are not checking it can give us a error so now it is says existing and it will create all three files one is a microsoft word text file and the other one is excel file so let's see how we can read the file let's declare a variable even though we don't need it but we can say text reader and uh, my data okay so here what we can do we can set a text reader object equals to object fso dot open a text file okay so in this one we we gonna give a path so as you can see there are too many parameters we have you can also set it like io mode it's a readable or you can read or write or whatever it is so there are too many options guys it's hard to explain you should you can uh, read the documentation so here i'm giving the path of this file so which is this one okay so let's put some text under that just hello hi how are you save it close it and now we can say my data equals to object text reader and we can say read we we will have a lot of options here now read a line read all let's put a read all okay and then what we can do in a message box we can say my my data okay let's run that 
so it's running so it says hello hi how are you so it is reading everything so if you want to see here you can explore more option like a line and then let's see what it's doing it will just say one so it is just giving the number of which number it is on the current number of line so there are another method read line and then let's see what it's doing it is reading line by line maybe it just read one and it's gone so we have to program it a little bit to get the count and then read it one after another so similarly this kind of things you can do that guys it is uh, you can also write it and uh, which is like very easy way to do that so we can put a loop here to read that everything do while object text reader is at the end of the line is not equal to false okay and then you can read the data dot read line and then in the message box it will give you the value and you can end the loop hello hi and how are you so this way you can do it so how it helps in the automation you can read anything or write anything you can make the logs you can you can uh, use it like to parameterize your test case you can give the parameters to your test case by reading it and supplying the data to your test and you can also create the test data as much as you want so guys now you can uh, play around with this one so you can like uh, use uh, another methods as well move the file then you have to give two path first is the source path and other second one is a destination path so you can also copy the folder and paste the folder to another directory delete the file and delete the folder you can check if the drives are existing or not so there are too many functions available you can do a lot with the, this file system object you can write into the text file as well so i think you guys should try try it by yourself so let me give a, another ex example with which you can uh, write to the text file so let me comment it out and write the code so let me delete these files so here we can say similarly like this we will just say instead of this one we will say create a text file and then here we already gave the extension and apart from that we have to get the writing uh, permission so here we are specifying we want to write it okay so now we have this object this is not actually a reader anymore text writer so you can also change it here okay so object text writer and then 
we will have a right right line what we gonna write we can write any text so hello mp and then we can close this writer object so when i said writer object it means we are closing the file so here we uh, create a file and open it and here we are writing into it and here we are closing into it and then we will say set this one equals to nothing th nothing so we are releasing everything okay so let's see if you have seen here we don't have anything here so let's run this so immediately you have seen the file and when you open the file it will say hello mp whatever we said so similarly you can write more and more whatever you like so this is how it is working guys it's a very easy method so this is uh, pretty much it is so i hope you like the video and it will help you to understand the file system object model and uh, stay tuned i will come with a very useful video so i'll see you then bye bye